Welcome into another episode of Harmonious at Lunch. I am excited for this episode. Let me give you the title real quick. I think you're going to be excited too. It's how to scale your business fast, organically, without spending money. I, I was excited when I read that. When I saw the submission come in, I'm excited to dive a little deeper here. Um, and I know you will be too. We were talking backstage before we started recording and we got a juicy one for you. So real quick, let's ground ourselves. Where are we? What is Harmonious? Why are we even here? Harmonious is the 10 fundamental business disciplines you need in order to grow, scale, and thrive in your business. And it comes from studying the Fortune 500, consulting with the Fortune 100, and realizing that small businesses are doing it wrong and we're all going crazy at the same time. So let's not do that. Let's fix our businesses. Let's actually grow, make more money, and spend less time doing it. And we're going to get a little bit closer today. We're talking to Derek. First and foremost, Derek, I want to welcome you to the show. Thanks for being here. Hey, thank you, brother. It's an honor. I appreciate you asking me. Yeah, man, I'm excited to dive in. So you have a very unique solution. And just from the surface, it looks like we're going to be talking about the U in Harmonious, which is ubiquity, stands for sales and marketing. So can you give me a little bit, give me the overview of, of what we're going to be talking about today, and then we'll dive in. Perfect. So um, yeah, it's how to generate leads really off of social media platforms that, that pay. So how can you how can you leverage social media in a way without spending money on ads that really can grow your business quickly? Is that even possible? How can you how can you not spend money on social media ads? You're blowing it's, my mind here. It's absolutely possible. So um, the first and foremost is choose your platform and one platform, master it, what, whichever one that is. Um, me personally, I use Facebook. Um, and I'm really big in Facebook groups. So I use my personal profile, drive my business there. So when people look me up, it's a, it's a, um, it's not a private profile. It's, it's public. You can go see exactly who you're talking to. The way I leverage social media is I have commission based setters and commission based closers. So my setters are out in groups. My particular specialty is I work with coaches to help automate their business and level their income. Um, my setters go out into groups and they look for coaches. We currently work with either a challenge or an interview swap, much like you and I are doing right now. And I'll interview a coach and present them to my audience because I serve coaches. Um, a lot of my audience can use, you know, trauma coach or life coach or something like that. That's not something I do. So they're out looking for coaches. They propose to them. We do an interview swap that works because it grows both our audiences and it's give, give. Um, if someone doesn't qualify, like their audience isn't big enough or they're not at a place in their business yet, what we'll oftentimes do is, is say, okay, we can help you get there. And this is how we work with coaches to make this happen. Um, it's a very efficient system. It, uh, we give way more than we ask for. Um, and it works very smoothly. So it, it's, it, it, it does work. You do have to manage it. It's not, not, nothing's ever free, free, but you're not spending cash money. And because it's commission based, um, you pay them as the, you know, your setters and, and closers as they get sales and set appointments. So it's a real slick system. Um, it takes a little bit to manage it, but uh, it, it does work. Yeah, that's awesome. And I, I love the fact that it's pay for performance, right? Pay for results and, and the commission based. It makes a ton of sense. It's and it is it's free because you're not you're only paying. I, I consider that operating cost. It's not a, it a cost. Yeah. It's only when you get paid. Do those people get paid? So to me, that is uh, it's an efficient business model. But I want to I want to go back real quick to the beginning. You said you use Facebook. Um, yes, it works and, and pick one platform. Does this system work and transfer to other platforms? I know we're just going to talk about yes. Facebook today, but it, yeah. does. So it works well on Instagram. Um, it can work equally well on TikTok. Um, I will say with YouTube, because YouTube is a search engine, it's a little different. Um, but any of the social media, it works well on LinkedIn. Um, any of the social media platforms like that, that you can actually send someone a message, connect with them, create a bond. It, it absolutely works. And, we, and we, I've got, I've got people in all of them. 
That's awesome. Okay, so before we go any further, I do want to dive into uh, a little bit of the specifics on, on how you're doing it. Give us the overview. But first, I want to put your website on the screen because I know you run an event to help people do this. So yes. I'm going to put this on the screen. For those of you listening, um, this will be in the show notes. So you will have access to this link. But can you give me the overview of this event and how you walk people through this process? Absolutely. Um, so as you said, being in a small business, you have to have all components of your business. Um, I am an agency owner. This is something I do provide to coaches. Um, I teach them also how to use their resources. So, um, I don't like high ticket coaching courses that leave you unprepared to implement. So I'm an implementer. And when people go through my course, I make a promise to them that they will not leave until they have the tools implemented. If they keep showing up, I keep showing up. That's awesome. Um, so if, if you're listening to this, you're watching this, you want to go check that out. The, the uh, website's on the screen. It'll be in the show notes. Now let's, let's dive in a little bit. So you have these commission only setters and closers. You're on Facebook. It works on all platforms, most platforms. Um, what is the first step? I know you're targeting coaches, but what, what can someone do in their business to take the first step and do this for themselves? So once you have your target audience, you've done the biggest thing. It's, it's like Russell Brunson says, find your, your, your 100, your top 100 people that you're going to follow. Most of and this is what he talks about when he says share their audience. So you're in those groups, in their pages, and you're friending. You can, you can friend up to 60 people a day from your target audience. If you really start using social media to just connect with your target audience, so you're a user of social media instead of a consumer, it takes on a whole different life of its own. So be a user. It is a business tool. Um, and then once, once you're in those groups and you're creating, a, a and it truly is a connection. I love the people that follow me and that I follow back. Um, but you're, you're authentic and you're offering content. My people, my appointment centers are doing the same thing. We help people grow their audiences. You know, whether, whether we get a lot out of the shared interview, it's a give, give. And it also opens up the, the door to start to have the conversation of where are you in your business and would you like to get further faster? Mm. Very efficient. I, um, and, it, and like I said, it's a give, give no one's, it, it, it's not a hurtful thing. Yeah, I love that. And what I was going to ask next is th what came up in my mind. Um, and I'm sure happens for the listeners too. You get friend requested from somebody and three seconds later, you get the, the inbox that. that says, hi, how's the weather near you? And I'm just like, why did I hit confirm on this friend request? <laughs> so how are you different? And I know you're not doing this strategy, but Give me a no, little okay. bit of insight into what you, how you approach that and how long you wait too from, from accepting the friend request. I, I don't immediately start in DMs. As a matter of fact, I make it, I, I make it a practice not to engage personally in the DMs. Okay. Um, unless I have somebody that I'm reaching out to. When I connect to coaches, I serve them through my, my Facebook profile offering content, following them, pumping their posts up. I'm actively engaged. So I know them. I know the coaches that are following me. I see their posts. They see mine. We talk back and forth as a conversation. Um, very rarely do I go to the DMs unless I have to say, hey, I love what you're doing. Keep it up. You know, offering, you know, sincere support. My appointment setters and my, you know, closers, they're working that side of it. I would rather be me and I'm not salesy. I'm not flashy. There's, there's no dressing this up. So <laughs> I don't, I don't jump in there. I don't do crypto. I don't have a crazy offer. I, I work authentically with people. And I think that's what makes it work. If, if you're really wanting to give this strategy works perfect. If you're just salesy, yeah, people are just close you down. Yeah. I mean, you can tell, right. When, when the first question is, is, or the first thing is high followed by whatsoever. Like, I know, I know where this is going. I'm just going to unfriend you. Everybody knows it's yeah. not a secret yeah. when your, your banner is like, uh, how to triple your crypto in three days. Like, yeah. come on, it's not, it's not going to work. So tell me a little bit, you're adding value. And I love that you're 
I love the way you're adding value. Let me say that you're building people up, you're supporting them. And when you interact with other people's profiles, their profiles reach more people. Exactly. That's the easiest exactly. way to add value is help them grow their audience. That's what we all yes. want. So I and love as that. You, as you grow their audience, because you're posting on theirs and they post on yours and it, with the back and forth, the comments, the biggest thing you can do to grow your profile is every time someone comments on your profile, thank them in writing because it grows your profile and you're giving value back to them. You both grow. And that's what people don't understand about social media is it's an algorithm. It's math. You can beat it. So use the algorithm. The top players know this and that's why they do it. So, okay. Are you gaming it? Not if you're sincere. I don't follow a single coach that I'm not personally connected to. I unfollow them. Great if they see mine, but if I'm not seeing that they're doing something good, I'm pumping the people up who are out there pushing authentic, personal connection with their clients. That's what I look for. That, yeah, that's amazing. And let me just interject there because that's that's something that that we find is a really, really core principle for us and the people that we work with, but it's what a lot of business owners and entrepreneurs get wrong. And it's the, it's actually the N in harmonious it's navigate. So a portion of navigate is dedicated to your core values. It's mission, vision, core values. That's the foundation. If you don't have core value alignment with the people you serve, your clients, your business partners, other people you make relationships with, it is never going to work. And I, I honestly, Derek is one of the few people in the world who actually live by that. It's, it's refreshing to see because most people just chase the dollar. I can tell you chase the impact and the making okay. a difference in people's lives. And I, I respect that. So thank you. Brother, I'm a disabled vet. Um, all I know is how to serve. And my, my target community for real is every time I bring a coach on, I sponsor a trauma survivor wow. because there's a lot of trauma survivors and vets can't work traditional jobs. So that's where I give. Um, it truly is from a place of service. And I do this because it's, it's in my heart to, to serve. Yeah, that's, that's so great. Thank you for that. Because that's, I, I love meeting people and interviewing people and building people up who, who are truly out for good in this world. Because there's too many people online. And I'm sure you know this from serving coaches. who are going to tell you they can triple your business in three weeks and all this other flashy stuff. So thank you for being one of the good ones. I, I appreciate that. And I'm, I'm honored to speak with you. Um, so, it's been a blast. yeah. So, so kind of looking at the next step, then you have your, your setters and your, um, your closers reaching out to these people. Is that, um, is that to get them to your events or what are they, what are they doing? I assume they're not selling them high ticket programs in the, in the DMS, right? No, they'll, they'll always, um, bring them to a call, um, whether it be like an interview swap where, you know, I'll get on the phone with them and we'll swap audiences, whether, you know, it's let us help you grow your audience and, you know, can we help you with your business system? So there's always, there's always a give where we're sincerely trying to help. Um, I don't like high pressure sales. I, I don't like that approach. So working through count challenges, working through, giving value and find meeting someone where they're at. You know, some people can only afford a software package. Okay. You need the software. Great. I'll give you my platform with all the templates in it for a monthly fee and bring in the membership. You learn how to use it. Um, it it's there's, there's a give there where we can meet people where they're at and not have to be pushy and salesy. And, and it just, it just flows. It's so much easier to do it that way than to, than to be leveraging uh, you know, seller be sold. I love Grant Cardone. He's a lot better at sales than I am, but I think giving value is the win-win. Yeah, I agree. And you know what? It's funny you mentioned him. Uh, one of his people had reached out to me recently and they started with the high house, the weather, and it's just not going to work <laughs> these days. Um, I don't know how many times I have to say that on one episode for people to understand that, but um yeah, it's a different approach that gets it done. You're obviously winning at this and you're making it work. So if someone wants to go all in on leveraging social media, step one, obviously pick your platform. Like you said, master it. I, I love that strategy uh, or that advice. What, what do we need to understand about how long it's going to take to implement? What, what are the expectations? What should they be when getting into this? 
so it's going to take a while to build your your social profile up. So the fastest way to do that is as you're commenting and and you know within a month you should be able to pick up you know four or five hundred followers easily in a month. The next month it'll be a thousand. The next month it'll be fifteen hundred. So within three months you've built up over you know two thousand three thousand people on your on your profiles followers and, and true followers to get your sales team up and running. I found it takes about four or five weeks to get everyone clicking. There's a lot of moving pieces. That's something that my team specializes in and we can help. Um, but you can do it yourself as well. It's, it's just, you're flying by the seat of your pants. So it's managing the expectations of the setters and closers and teaching them how to be authentic in the DMs um, and how to start conversations with open comments on open forum and not in DMs. You only go to the DMs when you got a connection. Mm. Um, so really, you know, within, let's say within six weeks with your profile and with your setters and stuff, you're up and running and you're going to cycle through appointment setters. I do. Um, it's be prepared. You can hire a VA for a hundred bucks a week that can help you recruit. Um, and you'll form a team. And when you get a team, then you jump in with the leadership dynamic and, and keep them going. My team keeps me going. I got great people. I got lucky. Um, they keep awesome. me going. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, listen, if you want to learn more about this, this strategy, you want to go in all, all in on social media, I'm going to put Derek's website on the screen here again. Uh, you can go to his next event, learn how to do this, implement this strategy. Uh, if you're listening and not watching, it'll be in the show notes as well. So you can click on that. Um, I want to tie this real quick to the harmonious architecture. Derek, thank you for saying all the things you just said, because you opened up like six more letters for me to talk about. <laughs> but that's why I keep saying it's 10 fundamental disciplines you need to master. They are not optional. And what we teach at What If is how you can leverage the links between them. They are not separate disciplines. The ones we focused on today, I already mentioned navigation. We mentioned ubiquity. I think the big takeaway for ubiquity, people think marketing and sales is being all things to all people in all places at all times. It's not. And not unless you're like Nike or a Fortune 100 company or Target and you have to like truly be in all places. No. He said, find one platform and master it. If that's where your clients are, be there and be there all the time and be in the groups and be in the DMs, like he's saying, and, and post and be authentic. So uh, that was fantastic ubiquity advice from Derek. And then he mentioned home, which is humans optimized in a meaningful environment. And I inspire leadership. Those two obviously tied together. And of course, I think at the core of all this is your, your operations, your processes. You, you can't manage a team in a system like this if you're your order is not fully in place. One of the O's of harmonious. Um, so Derek, thank you for coming on and, and shedding a light on, on how you're doing this. Cause I think it's a really cool strategy that more people should be doing. I think a lot of people are wasting money on social media, spending yeah. ads and wasting their time. Um, so before we wrap this up, um, I know you're on Facebook, but, um, what, What's what's the one thing you want someone to do after listening to this episode? What is the first step for you to help them get successful? Be authentic. Above everything else, if you turn your, your social media into an authentic platform of giving and be transparent with yourself on social media, you can't help but win. It will grow. It stretches you, but it will grow. Um, and that's that's the biggest advice I can give is be authentic and you'll grow. Mic drop. I love it. It's going to take longer, but it's going to have a much, much bigger and better payoff in the long run. So take that advice and run with it, please. Go go to Derek's next event. The link is in the, in the description, um, in the show notes, wherever you're listening to this. And thank you for listening and for tuning into another episode of Harmonious at Lunch. Remember, hit the subscribe button, like, follow, whatever you got to do, whatever platform this is on. I want to see you on the next episode and drop your comments and your takeaways. We want to hear from you. What did you think? What did you like? What are you going to do? Most importantly, now you know what parts of the business this will touch and this strategy will help you with. Go implement it. You got a ubiquity problem? Go fix it. Here's a strategy to fix it. I love all of this. We'll see you on the next episode of Harmonious at Lunch.